five. Touchdown, Longview. Nothing Longview lead. High formation for Longview. Blocking back Taylor on the far side of the field. Olsen the tight end on the near side. Out of the eye formation. First down and 10. On view move before the snap. So it's going to be first and 15. First down and 15. They move it back to the 34-yard line. First down and 15, Longview at their own 34. Same set, I formation, weak far side of the field. Same set, first down and 15. There goes Hamilton in motion to the near side. Play action pass, flag on the play. There's a toss to Oliver. Oliver's got it out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Flag on the play. Longview's got it at the 43-yard line. Well, Oliver out of the backfield has slipped into the flat and was open. It was a good throw and toss and good play, but there's a flag thrown, and we're going to wait and see. Let's we'll see what it's going to be. But I believe it's going to go against Longview is that uh, John King is talking to the official, which would indicate that uh, the call is going to go against Longview, and John King doesn't like it. i got a feeling why Texas High's coach is out on the field about to the hash mark. I haven't seen that in a while. But then we haven't seen 4A in a while. <laughs> Penalty back. Blombie's going to be penalized illegal formation, but uh, Coach King is not, not tickled about that. First down and 20. Six minutes to go here in the first quarter. It's a 7-0 Longview lead. And Longview will scrimmage from their own 29-yard line. Head formation for Longview. Two backs beside Johnson. Play clock down to three. Now two. Now they're going to snap it with one. Johnson back to throw. They're going to throw the screen pass. They've got the screen pass complete. And a nice tackle on the play. It's gone to the 35. Oliver That's had it. Yeah, and that Cameron was a, Ellis Evans made the tackle. Yeah, that was a uh, really nice play by him as he uh, it looked like the play was set up and Oliver had running room and he just knifed through and uh, Actually saved what could have been a huge gain for Longview. Hunt and Harris in the game for Longview at running back. Harris the fullback and Hunt the tailback. Second down and 13. Five minutes to go first quarter. Wide receivers to the far side of the field and one comes to the near side. There's the keeper by Johnson. Johnson's up the field to midfield. He's in the clear. He gives a lead. He's still going. He's to the 10 5 touchdown. Oh, John, what a move he made. Wow, at the 30 yard line. He made a hesitation and he faked the defensive player out, and Longview's got another touchdown 13 0. That was Slade, Hep- Slade Hepcock, and, and Hepcock had the sideline and the angle, and. and uh, just Aaron Johnson did a little hesitation move and Hethcock whiffed him, Brent. He whiffed him, John. It's a 13 nothing Longview lead. 4.44 to go first quarter. Here's Jenkins. Ball down. Kick up. It is good. Kyle Jenkins is a perfect for the season and Longview's got a 14 nothing lead. We'll be back on 104.1 The Ranch in one minute. He went. I don't think I've ever seen that before on a, on a like that on a sideline. He whipped him. He aired him. He just went. <clears throat> Welcome back, everyone. Fourteen nothing Longview. The Longview's had the ball twice. They've got two touchdowns. That one was a sixty-five yard run by Aaron Johnson. A three-play drive that covered eighty yards and. With uh, 4.44, Lombie's got the 14-0 lead. There's McWhorter with the kick. It's fielded and downed at the 27. A nice uh, end over end kick. They didn't kick it deep to Hamilton. And Texas High will scrimmage from their 27-yard line. Two touches for Lombie, two scores. Well, I think, Brent, if there's... uh, so you notice anything, these first two drives for Lombie is they just are are so much faster than Texas Canada. And I don't know... uh, 
how you overcome that defensively. So I think it's going to be paramount that their their offense can control the ball because I believe that uh, defensively, I, I just don't see how they're going to stop Longview. Do you? I mean, think you're pretty fast. you get out there with Longview, John? Yep. Not many are faster. Here's a first down for Texas High at their own 28-yard line. Sorensen back to throw it. Here's the one over the middle, incomplete. That one intended for Peyton Tolliver. He's nicely defended on the play. By Connard Cooks, over by Chris Weaver. Second down for Texas High at their own 28-yard line. Second down and 10. 14 nothing Longview, 436 to go first quarter. Five receivers to the far side of the field, two of them, and one to the near side. Tied in near side of the field. That's Logan Preston. There's a quick toss outside to Hamilton. He turns up the field, and he is tackled at the 36-yard line. He is three yards short at 36. It's got to be third down and three. Hamilton turned up there rather uh, rather gingerly, John. <laughs> he said he did. Uh, it's third down and three for Texas High at their own 36-yard line. It's his second reception of the night. 14 nothing Longview, 408 to go first quarter. Third down and three. Third and two for the Tigers. And they're going to snap it directly back to their back. Now somebody's calling timeout. Texas High is calling timeout. We'll be back on 104.1 The Ranch in one minute. It's third down and three for Texas High at their own 35-yard line. He's caught back in the in the direct snap position. Now here comes motion to the near side of the field. They're going to run it up the middle. They got a first down and they got it to the 44. So it's a first and 10 Texas High at their own 44-yard line. 3:51 to go first quarter. 14 nothing Longview. Texas High football at their own 44-yard line. Well, that play they ran a direct snap and he took the ball right over the guard and he ended up with some running room. And I think if they're going to have any success running it, Brent, they need to do it between the tackles and quit trying to go wide. Well, they've got him back at the same spot back there at running back. Three <laughs> wides and a one to the far side. He's a running back, Slade Heathcott. Here comes motion. And he's going to raise up and throw it. It's incomplete. Tried to go to Hamilton at the 35 and it's second down and 10. Well, he faked the reverse and then stepped up and tried to throw the ball to Hamilton. Ho- Hamilton had run a little seam route, but the uh, pass was not very well thrown. It goes incomplete. Second down and 10. Sorensen is going to go back at quarterback. He was a wide receiver on that uh, particular play. And now he's back at quarterback at second down and 10. Wide receiver to the far side, two to the near side of the field. Here's Sorensen back to throw it. Here comes some pressure up over the middle. This one's caught and tackled at the 46-yard line. What a nice play that was by Britton Eastburn, the sophomore, 195-pounder. It's only a three or three-yard gain. It's going to be third down and seven. Logan Preston with the reception. So it's third down. It's a third down and seven play. Two wides to the far side, one to the near side. Now Texas High is going to take another timeout. Scientific tests show that when 